Hey, Mauro, how's it going? All good. How's it going for you? All good. Uh, I'm just listening to Car Sick, so we can talk a little bit about that in a, in a second. But before we do, uh, just wanted to uh, say hey. And, uh, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, you've obviously lived in a lot of different places. Where are you at right now? I'm in Lebanon, Beirut. Nice. Nice. Okay. So way across the world. Uh, the uh, Well, the connection sounds great. So good for you, Zoom. <laughs> Uh, so uh, why don't you tell us a little yeah, bit about, um, you know, yeah, yeah, it sounds good. Um, I'd yeah. love to hear a little bit about how you, uh, how you got into music, because uh, I know you've been doing it for a long time and you've had some, uh, you've had some crazy success so far, but, uh, but how'd you first get into music? Um, so I just like used to sing before going to bed. My mom would like uh, teach me some songs in Russian. And like, so like, sort of like lullabies and stuff. And then uh -huh. um, my grandma used to play piano, and so I basically got into music school to learn the piano when I was like nine or ten. And I st studied there for four years, learned the piano, and then I started get, like getting more into music, and I wanted to uh, to sing and play the guitar. So I stopped mu going to the music school. I taught myself how to play the guitar on YouTube and I have I had this vision to make a YouTube channel and start posting covers. And yeah, so basically I started posting covers and then I auditioned to Airs Got Talent. I made it to the quarterfinals. Um, yeah, it was just like still uh, at the very beginning of my career back then i would play on the streets in beirut busking um yeah i just kept on uploading covers and until one of them blew up and that's how i so i met different people all around the world including my manager record labels uh, producers and yeah we're here now yeah Quite a way. So did you, uh, so I, I heard you say that you were on Arabs Got Talent. Uh, was that before or after you kind of saw the, uh, the traction on YouTube? Uh, so did the YouTube, did, you know, the, the stuff you're doing on YouTube that blew up, did that lead to Arabs Got Talent or maybe did, or, or did uh, Arabs Got Talent come first and, and maybe that help uh, amplify some of your YouTube stuff? Um. No, not really. Like, I auditioned for Arabs Got Talent, and it wasn't, like, very serious. I just auditioned because I was like, why not? It's an experience. But not really. Like, it gave me some exposure on Instagram, but it wasn't, like, that big and stuff. So mm. uh, the YouTube stuff came later. Yeah. So, I, I you know, <clears throat> your YouTube videos, you know, you're, you, you've seen incredible views on your and you know on multiple videos you know posting over a million views yeah. um uh, so i, I it sounds like you kind of had one that kind of broke through and maybe helped uh snowball the rest of them um wh which video was that that you did um it was uh falling down by Lil peep at xxx tentacion i covered it right. uh, the right. same day it came out and that's how it kind of blew up a bit and it started getting more views and then I'm not sure how many months later I posted uh I think Billy Eilish that blew up as well and that was when I started uh making covers in different languages like the, the language the languages I speak and some other languages I learned yeah I I I, I see, you know, you speak at least four languages, uh, French, Arabic, Russian, and English. Amazing. Yeah. And, uh, and now I guess you're singing in at least uh, seven languages. Uh, cause you got uh, Turkish and Italian and Spanish. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. So where did the initial, uh, how did, you know, how did you initially learn those four, uh, those four languages, French, Arabic, Russian, and English? Um, so the, Arabic is our first language in Lebanon, 
Sure. So yeah, uh-huh. obviously I speak Arabic, and my mom is U- Ukrainian, so they speak Russian or Ukrainian in uh, Ukraine. So she taught me like I still speak to her in Russian to this day. Um and French. Well, I'm French educated. Like I went to a French school. We have a lot of those in Lebanon. So yeah, I uh-huh. had that in school, and we also had English classes, but it wasn't that much. But it did help me with like grammar and stuff. But I mostly learned music through, uh, I mean uh, English. I'm uh, I learned English through uh, video games, uh, music, and movies. Right, that makes sense. Video games, yeah. the dialogue in the video games, or talking to people on on online, or both. <laughs> uh, so, sorry. I was saying for video games, are you talking about the dialogue in the video games or like talking with people online for video games? Oh, both, both, for sure. Right, right. Well, that's, yeah. that's amazing. How how was it to learn how to sing in other languages that you can't necessarily speak, like Turkish and Italian and Spanish? Is that just, uh, you know, is there uh, is there some apprehension to, that, that you may not be pronouncing the words correctly or are you doing a lot of your homework to make sure you are? Um, so basically like Spanish is, was easy to learn Spanish and Italian. It's more easy cause it's close to French. So uh-huh. that wasn't really a big problem. Um, and I, I don't worry, like I do worry about how I pronounce the words, but I try to like perfect them as much as I can. And sure. then I know I'm good. Like if some words are just coming out naturally and that, that that's fine, but I try my best to perfect it. Uh, as a, for Turkish, it's uh, a, a harder language uh, to learn for sure. Cause it's different. Yeah, I think, uh, I think singing can sometimes hide accents and, and mispronunciations anyways, you know, I, uh, as, uh, you know, yeah. Here in the U.S., yeah. I think, you know, we listen to a lot of, you know, English uh, artists uh, from, from Britain. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you can't even tell, you know, what country they're from because, uh, you know, I, like I said, I think I, I think it sometimes masks uh, any accent. And, and some musicians just pronounce words strangely when they sing anyway. So you can't, it's, it's harder to tell. Yeah, yeah. So do you think it was the... Do you think it was because you released that song on the same day that that uh, Falling Down came out, that, you know, Lil Peep and and uh, Extension's uh, song came out? Do you think it was uh, because it came out on the same day? Do you think uh, that that seems to me like it was a really smart move because there was probably a lot of people looking for that song on YouTube that yeah. day? I mean, yeah, that's like um, a trick you can do. You just upload mm-hmm. something related to the song, like. ASAP the same day it's released and it will show up more on YouTube searches and the more views you get that's how the YouTube alg- algorithm works like if you get more likes it's like the more popular you get the more popular you'll get I don't know how to explain sure. it yeah it's like self-perpetuating a little bit so, so yeah, I, I mean obviously Obviously, I mean, you, you have some, you know, some, some great savvy in, uh, in some of your strategies, but I think uh, that can only get you so far. Um, so you, you must be creating this great content also, <clears throat> because like I said, you're, you're, I, 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 you're around, you're almost 30 million views on your YouTube channel, right? Which is crazy. I think it's more now. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think it's more. Wow. <clears throat> wow. That's, that's amazing. So, and, and so you, You've been doing all these covers on YouTube, uh, and and did you were you kind of doing this with the uh, with the intent? Did you kind of know, hey, eventually I'm going to start putting out my own music, and this is going to be great for just kind of building a a grassroots following first? Yeah, uh, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, I was just saying I, while you're doing all these these covers on YouTube, uh, was mm-hmm. the intent that hey, I'm gonna I'm going to grow my fan base? before I put out some of some original content, did you know that you were going to eventually be writing your own stuff? Uh, 
yeah for sure like i knew i had this vision and my purpose was to get there i didn't i didn't know how i was going to do it i didn't know how it's going to turn out but i just like that yeah that was definitely my like goal and yeah for sure so so growing up i i, I read that you know you you like everything you know you, you like heavy metal hip hop grunge um pop uh was there uh where do you think that comes from that 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 uh, that love for all music um i guess cuz i need to think about this cuz my dad is lebanese my mom is ukrainian they both have different tastes in music and like i know for example uh some arabic music and i know some russian music and i'm more open to like listening to different genres and stuff so i guess that could help but honestly i'm not sure what exactly like made me listen to all of those but if it's good music it's good music it doesn't matter like what genre it is totally so uh so you just put out uh, your first single uh looks like it's doing really well already so so some of those uh that fan base that you grew beforehand is, seems to definitely help. Uh, seems to be definitely helping the, the single. Uh, I listened to it. I, I love it. Um, where where would you say you get some of your influence for for your current sound? For uh, where? Yeah. Um, you do you have any favorite artists that that you feel oh. like are kind of your your contemporaries? Yeah, I mean Justin Bieber, The Weeknd. Uh, Lil Peep, XXX, Tentacion, uh, Nirvana. Like these are my, like these are people that that have inspired me before. But it doesn't exactly mean like they're all, like they have all inspired the like the song. But sure, all sure. those different influences they will show up eventually in different songs and yeah. Yeah, the uh the the production on it sounds great too. Did uh are you, who were you working with uh when you when you did the production? It was that all you or did you uh did you go in the studio with some other people? Uh I was with Carl uh, Falk and Alvin Nadler. They've they've produced the song. Uh I had this uh guitar um the guitar, like basically the guitar chords. And then we just uh, worked on it all together in the studio with uh, a guy called Juliander. We all worked on it and everyone did like their part of the song. Some people did this melody, some like, it was like everyone was contributing to the song and it turned out amazing. Yeah, it really did. What's uh, so what's uh, what's the story behind the song? Was it, uh, was there any personal life experiences that inspired it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's uh I would say it's more about multiple experiences, not just one, and it's all combined into one. It's just basically sure. about a um toxic relationship with a girl and how like they keep on trying, but it just makes it worse. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the it's amazing how many uh how many songs uh bad relationships have inspired huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the uh so you know you, you were putting out all this uh this great content on youtube you you built your uh you built kind of your fan base a huge fan base you've got your first single out now um so where do you uh what, what have you been up to uh during 2020 i know it's been a crazy year for uh you know a, a lot of artists have uh I, you know, had to put some projects on hold, definitely, or, or maybe some some touring on hold. Um, some some artists are writing. Uh, what have you been up to in in twenty twenty? Well, Corona has slowed everything down for sure. I was like, we were mm -hmm. gonna release my first single way earlier than August, but like we couldn't get it done. But that also mm -hmm. gave me like uh, I guess an opportunity to work on like recording my own vocals, uh, learning how to 
produce some stuff, like some basically like using a program to record vocals and make music. So yeah, I've just been writing and because usually I, I used to write, like I record it on my phone and then take it to the studio. But since I can't do it now, I just recorded with my microphone right here. It's a Shure SM7B. And nice, yeah. I, I bounce it out to the producer or songwriter or whoever wants to work. Yeah. So, you know, there's a silver lining there. I've, uh, some of the artists we've been talking about have been talking about how, yeah, we gave them a chance to fill in some gaps in their skill set, maybe maybe learn some other things or do some things that uh, that they might not have done otherwise or had the chance to do otherwise. Um, you know, I know we're, we're doing a lot more interviews uh, via Zoom now, uh, which, uh, mm. which has made us talk to maybe some artists we wouldn't have talked to before, um, you know, such as an artist who's yeah. all the way in Lebanon. <laughs> yeah so uh yeah so it's, it's cool what uh so what program are you using maybe some artists would be uh interested in knowing what uh what you're using to record your vocals right now i'm using logic i've always been using logic i used to have uh, mm -hmm. a cracked version of it huh. on my old <laughs> macbook but now right. i got like the real thing and some cool plugins uh -huh. so yeah logic yeah. is uh really cool i think it's easier than some other programs but to each their own like right, right. I, I don't yeah. think it I mean, stops at the at the program like your creativity doesn't stop if you use another program sure sure you'll make it work regardless um it's funny you mentioned yeah. a cracked version of logic because i i uh, i had used logic just because i wanted to see what it was like for a long time uh and uh this was years ago, but I, I did have a cracked version also just because I wanted to check it out. Um, and it was a great program. I mean, yeah, so maybe, maybe I'll actually get an official, pro, an official version like you at some point. <laughs> so yeah, then I'll, uh, I'll stick to Pro Tools. Um, so, so with that, what are you, uh, so can we expect more music from you soon? Or do you want to put out uh, more music in the, in the next coming months? Are you going to wait? Um, what, what are you going to do uh, in, in the next, what can we expect from you in the coming months? Um, I should be releasing my second single next month. I'm not sure if the release date, because I'm still, I, I finished the song, but I'm just doing some stuff to finish like releasing it. Um, um, I have two more songs coming out in 2021, and then hopefully more music, NEP, or a project. And then I hope, hopefully, once this Corona thing ends, I can perform music live, not on Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Any plans on uh, on uh, crossing the seas uh, so we can uh, see you over here in the states at some point? Yeah, I would love to visit uh, California. I've been to New York once, like seven years ago. That was a long time ago. But yeah, I would love to visit New York again and California. Where are you at right now? Uh, we're in Los Angeles right now. I'm in Los Angeles. So I, actually, I was uh, just talking to uh, your, your publicist before, and I guess he, he lives right next to where I used to live uh, in Hollywood. But uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in Highland Park right now in Los Angeles. <laughs> and how is the weather there? Uh, it's pretty, pretty great. <laughs> Looks like it's about 80 degrees outside, something like that. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. <laughs> how's it in uh how's it in uh in in Lebanon right now? It's still kind of warm. It gets colder at night, but it's still considered warm like if there's sun you can go to the beach. I was at the beach last week. So, nice. yeah. So enjoying summer, holding on to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was last couple last couple of weeks. So uh, thanks a lot, Mauro, for, for, for let, telling us your story. Uh, super excited to hear what you got coming up next. Your, your debut single is, is what, a, what a debut, right? I mean, it's a, it's a great song, great production, and you also got a, a crazy following already via your YouTube channel, so well done. Um, I, I, I feel like you've done uh, an incredible job uh, for someone um, kind of doing a lot of this on, on their own. So um, we'd like to end the podcast by uh, 
by asking our artists, you know, if you had one piece of advice to give to aspiring artists, what would it be? Um, I would say if you have, um, okay, so some people are born with like a natural, like natural, let's say, let's take an example, a singer. Uh, I, I wasn't born with the best voice. When I first started off, I didn't have a great voice, but if you have the passion, passion for it or anything, not just singing and you work hard in it, you'll eventually get there one way or another. That's how I believe it works. If you have a passion and if you, you, you work hard for it and you'll get there. Bring me the best word.